Hi everyone, Mr. Miguel from McBee here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to assemble your own pullback rocket that you'll find in our Club on the Go bags. So just follow along and I'll show you how to do it. So in your Club on the Go bag, you're gonna find all the supplies you need to make this rocket. Uh, you're gonna find the instructions and then you're gonna find the pieces of foam. And again, you should have seven pieces of foam and then make sure that you also have the little uh, car mechanism. So one of the most important things uh, before you start this project is to find out which way is forward for this little uh, mechanism here. So you wanna pull it back in either direction if you hear the uh, gears grinding, which I do right here, and then just let it go. Didn't really go my, anywhere, but I can tell that the um, this part over here is the part that points forward. So as long as this is pointing forward along with our rocket, it'll be going forward. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop out these pieces from our piece of foam. Um, most of the foam on this is adhesive, so one side is sticky. You'll see it with a white piece of paper protecting it, uh, and the other side is regular. So we're gonna be using a lot of the sticky side. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take off the, uh, the paper backing. And we're gonna use these, these pieces as the base. As you can see on this one, I already went ahead and put it on. You kinda of want the part that sticks out to line up with like the main hub. You want it to line up with the main hub of the little car mechanism. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right on there. Um, make sure that the wheels aren't rubbing against the foam. You have a lot of clearance on either side, so I don't think you'll run into that problem, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the uh, flame part of our rocket. You're also gonna need one of the main sides of the rocket. Um, I just peeled back the paper a little bit to work with it, because I don't wanna take it all the way off and make it hard to handle. So I just peeled off half. That's a pro tip for you right there. So you're gonna peel off both of the uh, orange flames. And again, it's sticky on the back, so you're gonna wanna be careful and make sure it doesn't stick to each other. Uh, it's not impossible to separate, but it is tricky. And you're gonna go ahead and uh, sandwich this yellow part to the orange part. So I'm gonna place it right near the top, like that. Grab my other orange piece, make sure it's symmetrical, and kind of make a little sandwich, okay? And it should look just like that. Now you're gonna go ahead and put it on one side of the rocket. So uh, you don't wanna make sure that you don't cover up this little cutaway right here. So uh, get it as close as you can because the more it sticks to, the stronger it'll be. But don't cover that spot up, just like that, okay? So now we're gonna attach one side of our rocket, preferably the side with the flames on it, uh, and we're gonna attach it to the base. If you look on the back of mine, I ripped up the paper that protects the sticky side. Um, just so I have somewhere to hold, and then I'll peel the rest off later. So you're gonna go ahead and find your base. Remember which side is forward. Um, we kind of put our base to cover the little gear hub, and we know that the little hub is what is pointing forward. So we're gonna make sure the rocket points the same way. And we're just gonna attach it to the base. And again, you have that little cutaway on the actual body of the rocket. And you wanna make sure that when you glue it on, the base doesn't block it at all. You still wanna be able to have a clean cutaway right here, okay? So now we're done with that part. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and work with our other side of our rocket. Again, we're gonna be mindful of the cutaway and we're gonna remove the piece that was in there. And we're gonna do the same thing as last time where I only reveal half the sticky side just because I like having something to hold on to. Um, but you wanna make sure that you remove the correct side because you don't want your rocket to be pointing in two like separate directions. You want them to be pointing the same direction. Okay, so um, again, I'm gonna try to line it up best as I can. I'm trying to show you what it looks like on the inside. If you're not careful, this little nub could block the cutaway and you're gonna need that for the next step. You need it to be open. So just make sure that when you're putting it together, you stay mindful of that, okay? Now let's work on the second to last step. Uh, the last piece you have a foam, there is no sticky side. It's gonna slide in between the two uh, slots that were on your rocket. So again, if you didn't remove that little piece, make sure that you do that now. Okay, so you wanna make sure it's lined up evenly. Um, and like I said, I left the backing on the sticky side so I can handle it. But now that I'm basically done, I'm gonna remove it carefully. So now with the red part inserted, um, what I'm gonna do is make sure it stays centered, but I'm kinda just gonna 
uh, glue the two sides of the rocket together. Um, it doesn't really say this, do this in the instruction, but I feel like it just makes the piece feel whole. Puts it all together. Okay. So that's pretty much all it takes to do this. But before we head to the launch pad, we have one more thing to do. This is all the trash that came out of the uh, rocket I just made. So I want to make sure that I clean all this up before I play with it. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. So now that we're all done and cleaned up, we can go ahead and get ready for blast off. 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running. 